Women in overground comics, they were there, but they were not appreciated. They were doing things like color work, and they were doing the work, but they were not known. And the romance comics were almost all done by men from a male perspective, done for women, but uh, were not really representing a woman's viewpoint. My work, my work, apparently, it's like it projects an image. It must project an image of such innocence. Apparently, the style is so innocent that people, they don't see it. It's in front of their eyes, and they don't see it. And that's why they, I've been able to talk about some really you know, extreme subjects, because the work itself is so accessible and kind of, people have called it naive. And... Um, so it was always, a lot of people at first said, oh, well, this looks like children's books. And I uh, said, why don't you do children's books, which like pays miserably and, and like, of course, I mean, what, how can I, how can I talk about things that I, that I want to talk, how can I talk about sex in a children's book? I mean, that's what I wanted to talk about, that and, and political things. Capital, a children's book about capital punishment, right? The defendant, Elrod Stelmack, stands accused of the kidnapping and rape of Mrs. Ingalls' kitty, Beulah. How does the little menace to society plead? He's obviously guilty. I found his footprints in the litter box. Plus, Beulah's flea collar was in his baseball card collection. Due to this indisputable evidence, I find Elrod a threat to the tranquility of this neighborhood. And I'm really grossed out. You're dead, Elrod. I'm sure glad this toaster has a long execution cord. Oh, Elrod, sorry. I don't think he'll ever do it again. Who do you think you are, God? You can't pardon him. It smells like soup. It's hard to keep the crime rate and your electric bill down at the same time. It's a parody. They said, no, it's real. I said, no, it's a parody. They said, no, it's real. Okay, bust me. So they did. Bang. A million two. So uh, 10, 13 years we're sitting in the court. We get... It just takes these the old, old guys a long time. Don't ever put your fortunes in the hands of the law. See. They, uh, they take forever. I actually have tape recordings of the Seventh Circuit, the Ninth Circuit Appeals sound asleep during my trial, the head of the whole thing, you know. You set a precedent. Well, we, had, we fought back. That maybe was the precedent. Uh, because we started off with a hopeless condition and, and see what we can do with that. I mean, as long as it was hopeless, why not? If you're going down in flames, hit something big.